You know what next week is? Jeeptoberfest. Jeeptoberfest, the oldest running Jeep event in Florida. How many years? 25 years. 25 years, and it supports a lot of charities, but it's next week. This is Ocala Jeep Club, and they run the whole shebang. And with us today, we have... Randall Atkins. I'm the pre vice president of the club. Scott Town. Uh, Charles Simpson. Charles Simpson. And tell us a little bit about this event. Well, we uh, spent a lot of time building courses to make it fun for everyone. We've uh, actually, this year, we've added some new obstacles. We're working on an extreme course at this time because we used to have a really nice one. And at this location last year, we didn't have time. It's just going to be a blast. So how much does it cost to get into the event? It's $60, 65 total, because when you do it online, it's and we've only got a couple days left, um, it's 60 for the event and the $5 extra is the, the online fee. They can still pay to get in at registration on Friday night at the Pink Out at Mojo's. They can also register again Saturday morning and they can also register Sunday. Sunday will be a lesser fee because it's just the last day of the event. Fridays are so and shine at Mojo's out on 40 in Ocala. And then we have two days Saturday and Sunday here. But Friday morning we have a trail ride yeah. as well that's going to yes. be out at the Goth Wildlife Area. Okay, tell us about this trail ride on Friday. So Friday morning, um, if you want to do the trail ride at Goathies, You'll meet here at Kirby at nine o'clock in the morning. The trail leader is Chris Weedman, and several of the volunteers, such as Scott, will be here. Um, be and here. we will leave out. They will leave out probably what 9:30 or so. Once everybody meets at nine, and go for the trail ride. There's going to be somebody who's standing at the spectator gate, and you can bring her some chocolate. <laughs> If you're working as a spotter and you get someone coming up on their Jeep and it's an obstacle, and it could be a soft obstacle, but we've got most of our spotters on the harder obstacles because they're only yay wide. And as they come in here, the spotter will either tell you to driver, which means turn your wheel a little bit to the driver's side, or he'll say passenger, that means turn your wheel a little bit to the passenger side. And then again, he'll tell you just keep your wheel straight and you're good.
stand on the outside out there So that looks a little extreme out there for, for a lot of people who are new to jeeping. Do you have something that's uh, not going to scare the wits out of them? Yeah, we have a stock course on the far end of the property that's, you know, it's good for a stock jeep. Good to build up. First timers. Yeah. We have a lot of staff, so if you need help, you know, you just you just have to ask for it. You're going to have spotters at uh, all these obstacles? Uh, pretty much all of them. Yeah. And if, as you, you come in at the beginning you'll be told that if you need spotter or anything you just blow your horn and we'll come over and help you out. Jeeptoberfest is at Kirby Farms and we have with us today Mr. Kirby himself. Hey there. Tell us a little bit about Kirby Farms. Wow. Kirby Family Farm actually a lot of people don't realize it started as a children's charity. We are a 501c3 children's outreach center and um, it all started because we wanted to help kids stay on track or get back on track in life and that's where the whole train theme kind of tied into the to our mission and um, one thing led to another and we started building it and we quickly learned that we're gonna need some help if we're gonna make this happen so that's when the idea to open the facility to the public it's a 110 acre facility We've got the historic railroad and it's grown from just a Christmas train to several events which one of the big ones and the most exciting one of the most exciting this year is Jeeptoberfest and um, so we're really excited about that we we've come a long way and all of the events you know now we're in a position where not only do they hope help our charity where we work with again foster kids special needs medically needy but we're also able to help other charities as well which is a big reason we love our partnership with ocala jeep club and jeep toberfest
Hey, well, that's a preview of what's coming in a few days here out at Jeeptoberfest. That is the uh, Ocala Jeep Club, and they are practicing up and fine-tuning all the trails so that you can come out. There's easy stuff, there's hard stuff, and there's some downright sketchy stuff for, <laughs> for all y'all who want to practice your articulation. But this is who was out here riding today. Trish Dennis. Roger and Dixie. Randall. Steve. Scott. George. Joe. Charles. Cameron. <laughs> so, if you are watching this next year or after the event, y'all just look up the Ocala Jeep Club or just search Jeeptoberfest and you can get your tickets and you can come on out and you can have a great time. As we said, this is the 25th anniversary. That's the longest running Jeep event in Florida that I know of. Almost the U.S. Almost the U.S. And it's going to be a great time. I can tell you my grandkids look forward to it every year. We'll see you on the next trail ride and have a great time. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment below and tell us your Jeeptoberfest story. Y'all come out! Come on out! You know, we Jeep and we eat, so we're stopping at barbecues. And the parking lot is full. So you know when you go to a restaurant, there's two good signs. The parking lot is full or there's a line out the door. Is opening one or something. Really good salad bar. They have like a lot of fries. Right. <laughs> I'm all over on you. <laughs> the messy is best with mac and cheese. The triple line with fries. The double stack? Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, it's crap. I've never had a hamburger here. I may have to start. Okra and baking. Okra and baking. Hi, I'm Trish Dennis. I'm the charity director for the Ocala Jeep Club. I've been the director since 2019, and that's when we joined the club. We have four main charities that we are supporting this year in this event. They are the VFW Veterans Village of Fort McCoy, Kimberly. Kimberly's Center for um, Child Protection Services, Brian's All Stars Sports, as well as Ronald McDonald House North of North Central Florida. So tell me about the Ocala Jeep Club. How would you go about joining? Uh, you can go on our website, the OcalaJeepClub.com, and just follow the instructions. And how did you get hooked up with the Ocala Jeep Club? I had a Jeep a long time ago, had to sell it to get a pickup truck, so I just got this Jeep uh, two weeks ago, and I knew I wanted to be part of the Jeep Club again, so I went online and filled out the information, paid with a credit card, also signed up for the Jeeptoberfest event at the same time. Awesome. So you get to come out here and ride the trails in advance. Yeah, it was fun. I've already gone through the stock course, and that was a lot of fun. Awesome. Awesome. Is this good, or is this, is, <laughs> does this look natural? <laughs> Cameron. And I'm Matt, and I'm Randy. And I'm Randy. <laughs> hey, Randy. And we're together, we're Matt and Andy. Uh, days. Yes. And then we cover so, every occupant of the Jeep. Yes. That can be seat belted in. Yes. yes. The ones who can't be seat belted are free. <laughs> They're free to get out. <laughs>